So today I'm talking about a P0130 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. The definition could vary depending on what scan tool you're using. The most common one is going to be O2 sensor circuit malfunction, bank one, sensor one. Some other scan tools might give you heated oxygen sensor circuit, bank one, sensor one. But the basics of what's going on is that there are sensors located on the exhaust and they're monitoring how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture going in the engine. And it's seen a problem with one of these sensors. So it's going to have to be troubleshooting a why. And some possible causes of a P0130 code? Well, it could be a bad sensor, could be in the wiring like an open or short, could be a blown fuse, might be an exhaust leak, and possibly it could be in a rich or lean condition. Although if it's this right here, you get other codes. So if you're getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is go locate the bank one, sensor one, oxygen sensor, and there can be some differences. It's really going to vary on the engine type, the manufacturer, and things like this. But bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder, that's going to be bank one one and sensor one is going to be the first sensor going down on that side. It's always a good idea to get a diagram of where the oxygen sensors are located on your particular vehicle and engine since there can be some differences. For example, this is a 2007 Camry with a 3.5 liter V6 and as you can see bank one sensor one would be right here and it's going to be located before the catalytic converter. And the basics of what's going on with these O2 sensors is that you're going to have sensor one is going to be called the upstream oxygen sensor. It's going to be located before the catalytic converter. Then you're going to have sensor two located after the catalytic converter. It's going be called the downstream oxygen sensor and these sensors are doing two things the first thing that they're doing is they're monitoring how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion and then the onboard computer uses this to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture and then they also have heater elements built in and this does a few things it helps it go into what's called a closed loop quicker and the heater elements also monitor the catalytic converter since that the catalytic converter starts to heat up too much it's a symptom that is failing so it's watching for this but the first thing to do is go locate this bank one sensor one upstream oxygen sensor on your particular vehicle and then once you locate the sensor next thing to do check out the wiring real good be sure everything's connected and basically just be aware that anything wrong with the wiring open short bad connection is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor also keep in mind these are going to be on a fuse the fuse is usually located inside the engine compartment there'll be a fuse box for example here's a 2005 toyota tacoma this af heater that's for the o2 sensors this truck also has a relay right here af heater and if any of those were to go bad then it could cause issues so that's something to keep in mind another thing to keep in mind is that an exhaust leak can cause this issue so be sure to look around and see if you have any exhaust leaks because an exhaust leak can throw off that o2 sensor and so if you check that all out the wiring all looks good there's no blowing fuses or anything like that then very likely that sensor has failed there's some ways you can go about testing it if you want to there's some good youtube videos on that but most likely at this point it has failed one thing to mention with these o2 sensors especially the sensor one is that quite often you need a special tool to remove it and to get it back in and get around that wire especially if they're indented down into the exhaust like this then you'll for sure need to get that tool not all the time sometimes they'll be out in the open so you might be able to use an open end wrench but basically go and look at it because you might need this special tool to be able to get it out especially if it's indented into the exhaust i'll put a link down below if you need to see what i'm talking about and so that's basically it i just wanted to give an overview of how you go about fixing a p0130 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day